Hello everyone and welcome back. We're at the range again today and today we have my Dan Wesson 1911 in 40 Smith & Wesson and we will be shooting Blazer Brass 180 grain full metal jacket. No this isn't the same shirt that I was wearing in my SIG video. I taped that like three days ago. It's not. There's no shenanigans going on here. So come back after the break. We'll see if this gets more reliable. Now granted this is the same ammunition I was using the first time but hopefully it's better. All right, so the range is hot. Let's see how this does. See if we need to get through the break-in on this because even though I bought it used, I don't believe it sent a whole lot of rounds down range. So hopefully this will get better like the SIG did. Better to feed. I really don't know if you can, because that's going to focus in on that. It is dragging across that round. That is the last round in the magazine, so. At least this one locks open. See that? Well, at least that one's locking open after every magazine. All right, here we go with the next round. <clears throat> this is the Dan Wesson magazine. I didn't bring out any tape to mark it, so I don't know if it's the same magazine. I know. I know. I also didn't put on my iPro. This is a Wilson Combat Magazine. Doesn't look like it scraped it quite as much, but it's still dragging across that last round. Alright, those are the three magazines that I just had issues with. I'm only loading these right now. Alright, so I just loaded the magazines that I was having problems with. So the first one we're going to run is the uh, Dan Wesson. This one is the one that was stripping off the last round. Trying to uh, double feed, so we'll see if this is going to happen again. I'm guessing it will.
Oh, look at that. So, exact same problem. Wilson Combat Magazine. Tire to feed. That one was all right. So let's keep going with these. All right, so this one is a Dan Weston magazine as well as one of the two that came with the gun. This one I don't think I've had a problem with, but I'm gonna end up having to load an extra magazine to get through these 200 rounds, so I just decided to do it now. And I spoke too soon apparently. I'm guessing that means that the, uh, maybe it's got a little too much spring in it, but that would belie the problem that I had with the SIG and not holding the magazine open, or the uh, slide open. Here's the other Dan Wesson magazine. Wilson Combat Magazine. Wilson Combat Magazine. Alright guys, it's Shades of Paul Harrell out here, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to burn through these. Um, first three are the ones that I've had problems with, and get done. And there it goes. Dan Weston Magazine. Dan Weston Magazine. And these are the three that I didn't have any issues with. Nope, take that back. So there you go. There was another 200 rounds through my Dan Wesson, 40 Smith & Wesson, 1911. It was better. Still wasn't great. I don't have a single magazine that I would trust in this. Whether that's the gun or the magazines or the ammo. Magazines worked fine other than the lockback on my SIG. Either all of them or five out of the six have some kind of problem in this gun. That's factory ammo. It's not the greatest factory ammo, but I buy a gun, expect it to go bang when I put ammo in it. Now, granted, you're something like this, you're buying for a match gun or a safe clean or whatever, but I still expect it to go bang no matter what I put for ammo in it. So. 
We'll run some more ammo through this, see if this has got uh, more break-in needed. But that's it for today. 200 rounds in this, 200 rounds in my SIG. I'm done for today. So, hope you enjoyed this. Until next time, stay armed, stay vigilant, stay safe, stay dry. Just finished fig, fig shooting blazer brass, 180 grain, 180 grain. I don't believe it had a whole lot of range down. Fuck that sucks. Fuck. And. Why the fuck do I do this shit? I'm not making any money.